Lately, I've been thinking. You see, software engineering has been around since the 1960s, so you'd think by now things would be easier. But somehow, with all the advancements, the job feels less like writing code and more like surviving a never-ending obstacle course. So today, we are going to talk about some of the things developers absolutely hate. Oh, but before we start, it looks like almost 85% of you are not subscribed. So how about you hit that subscribe button to become a fellow code head? Enough begging, back to the video. Starting with everyone's favorite, merge conflicts. Imagine you've been working on your feature branch for a week, everything is looking perfect, you finally feel ready to merge into main, and suddenly, Git decides to ruin your day. Two people touch the same file, maybe the same function, and now you're left staring at this ugly mess of conflict markers, trying to figure out which version survives. It feels less like coding and more like diffusing a bomb. And let's be honest, half the time you don't even remember writing the code you're trying to merge because it's been days. You spend more time solving merge conflicts than actually coding the feature you were hired for. Next up, meetings. But not all meetings, I'm talking about the ones that should have been emails. If you've ever been dragged into a one-hour meeting only to realize it could have been summarized in two bullet points, congratulations. You've experienced the universal pain of developers. It's not that developers hate meetings in general, but what they really hate are meetings where nothing gets decided, no code gets shipped, and everyone just burns an hour of their life they'll never get back. You sit there wondering why you're listening to Dave read his Jira tickets out loud in instead of actually working. And the worst part is, once the meeting ends, you've completely lost your flow, and it takes another hour just to get back into the zone. Studies have shown that context switching like this destroys productivity, which makes these pointless meetings feel like sabotage. Then we have reinventing the wheel, a favorite among some CTOs. Developers love solving problems, but what they hate is when they're forced to solve problems that already have a perfectly good solution. Picture this, you need a date picker. You could just use a tried and tested library, but your team lead decides Besides, no, let's build our own from scratch. Suddenly, you're debugging leap years and time zones at 3 a.m. because apparently reinventing the wheel is fun. You really need to reevaluate your idea of fun, Joshua. We also have browser compatibility. Nothing makes developers question their career choices more than writing something that works perfectly in Chrome only to watch it break spectacularly in Internet Explorer. You thought your styling grid was working fine? Well, surprise, Safari decided to interpret it differently. Suddenly, I start feel like I'm babysitting browsers instead of building features. One browser refuses to render my Flexbox layout correctly, another one ignores half my properties, and don't even get me started on JavaScript APIs that magically don't exist in certain environments. Modern frameworks try to smooth this out, but they can't save you from the nightmare of a client calling and saying, it doesn't work on my laptop, only to find out they're still running Windows XP for some reason. And finally, the star of the show, authentication and authorization. This is the final boss of developer frustration. It's not just logging people in, it's password reset, sets, OAuth flows, multi-factor authentication, role-based permissions, token expiration, and then the dreaded SSO integrations. You think you're just adding a login screen, but suddenly you're building Fort Knox. If authentication fails, users can't even get into your app. One small mistake and your entire user base is locked out. And to make it worse, authentication is the number one target for hackers, so you can't just hack something together, you have to make it airtight. That's why developers hate it. Not because it's boring, but because it's fragile, mission critical, and far more complicated than it looks on the surface. Well, luckily for you, that's where Super Tokens, the sponsor of today's video, comes in. Super Tokens is the open source authentication solution that actually gives you full control. Unlike traditional providers that bounce users to a third party redirect, Super Tokens integrates directly into your app's front end and back end. That means no vendor lock in, no black box auth, and way more customization. You can tailor login flows, role based access, or even passwordless authentication exactly the way your product needs. Security is built in by default, with session management and best practices handled out of the box, so you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Plus, Super Token supports multiple languages and frameworks, with backend SDKs for Node, Go, and Python, front-end SDKs for React and generic JavaScript, with ready-to-use examples for Angular, Vue, Svelte, and Solid, and even full-stack integrations for Next, Nuxt, Remix, and Astro. And the neat part, it's open source, so you own your user data and avoid the runaway costs of proprietary platforms. Whether you're building a SaaS app that needs multi-tenant support or just want a simple, secure login flow without compromise, Super Tokens is built for developers like you. Check out the link in the description to get started.